the, the Newman kid's an interesting kid. He, he was a, a guy that a lot of people was going to be uh, a top three round draft pick. Um, COVID hits. He gets COVID. Scares some people off. Then he blows out his elbow, Tommy John, when he comes back for one more year. So he has to sit out another year, then play a year of college baseball. And all of a sudden now he's here in Missoula. And he was you know, one of the best offensive players in the league. And he's closing games along with hitting home runs. Uh, you know, there are a lot of those stories around in this league where you hope some of these guys can get a shot at it. Guys like the this, Billy, are, are big league team scouting independent leagues? You know, the independent league scouting is a little different. It's, it's, more, uh, it's based more on, on relationships. And so ma- major league teams will try to forge relationships uh, uh, with Matt Ellis and, and try, and try to stay in touch with him. And so it's usually a scout with a major league club who, who forges those relationships and he mixes a little, you know, he, he may have pro coverage somewhere in the Northwest and he'll try to mix in some independent co- coverage also. I want to say also that, that the Pioneer League is, is one of three leagues that lost affiliations last year. They're the only one that became professional. The others, the others became uh, college wood bat league, you know, some, summer league teams. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that's significant. These guys, these guys have taken on that challenge. And they've gone after the young players. So I think the answer is probably no. Major league clubs aren't scouting that yet, but they're gonna because they're they're, they're gonna have to because there there are gonna be some players just as you described that they're gonna have to look at. What's the fine line at the end of the day, Bill? And and I mean, look, there there are ten thousand ways you could answer this question. But when I was talking with, with one of the guys fly fishing today, and he had two high school buddies. He said that, that both of them were playing, uh, one in double-A and one in triple-A, and here he is in, in Missoula, Montana. What's the difference? He said he's better than both of those guys. Well, the difference – well, oh, well, I, I don't know what the difference is between him and those – No, and, I, I know that, but I'm saying in general. But, the, but the, the difference is that those two kids have a bigger advantage because they've got, they've got a club that already went out on, the, on, the, on a limb for them. So somebody – they spent money to scout them. They spent money to draft them. They spent money to sign to yeah, sign them, to, the money to, to, to develop them. So the major league club has has a lot of skin in that game. Number in this 30, game, the independent players here. they're on their own, and that's sort of what Jim was referring to: is that he needs to be way more sensitive with these guys. You really do. You really absolutely do have to understand the difficulties these guys are going through just to play and 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 i think the pioneer league is by far the most interesting independently just because of the age of the player that they're pursuing as long as they're pursuing those young players it's going to be a real interesting league and like i said independent baseball traditionally has been scouted through relationships with independent clubs and so you, you know, if you have a relationship, a manager of an independent club has a prospect, he calls the scout that he knows and says, hey, as these stories get out about this, this two-way player.